Welcome everybody, my name is Marcus and in this video I'm going to teach you how we can use FreshBooks. FreshBooks is a good accounting software that you can use and the first thing that you want to do when you're going to enter FreshBooks is go to the top right next to the login, try it free. Click on it and if you already create an account, just skip this step. Email, I'll just add it right here. You can also register with Apple or Gmail account and password get started and let's just wait until it's going to load now i'm going to verify my email address okay and here i got it look at this verify your email to start using freshbooks verify my email and let's just wait until it loads and here we got it so let's get you set up what does your business do I'm in marketing, communications, and media. How would you describe your business? Full-time focus for over a year. What do you use to build your customers? Pen and paper, spreadsheet, and board document. I'm using spreadsheet and board documents. And what's your estimated revenue this year? I'm in 76,000 to 500K. Now let's press continue and you choose yours. Then you add a first name, Marcus Stone. You just add a number here. Company name, San We LC. Street address. You just add here the street address. And let's say I'm going to add a street like this, San Diego, zip code. And now press continue. How many team members do you have? I have two to four. And if you're going to have team members, you can easily invite them. But for our fresh books, I'm going to be just me. Again, if you have multiple people, you just like add it right here. Just me. Continue. And then Marcus, you're all set. One last thing. Can you tell us how you heard about FreshBooks? Google. Save and finish. And voila, here we got it. So in a moment when you're going to enter FreshBooks, now we are going to talk about how we can set it up. So first thing first, welcome Marcus. Here, how you can get most of the FreshBooks. Set company details. Add your clients. So I can review company profile and you just add here everything. This is really important straight for the beginning. Company name, address, state, base currency, fiscal year, when it ends, you choose the currency, the dollars, whatever. Date format, this is for me, business phone, mobile phone and standard rate. Let's go, I go 20 euro an hour, click save. When I go back to dashboard, okay, we have the details, add your clients. So this is how we are going to do it, guys. First thing first, I'm going to show you what you will get from FreshBooks. And then I'm going to show you how we can add clients. Then I will also show you how we can add vendors. And then also I'm going to show you how we can add products, items and services. And then we will go further on how we can create invoices, etc. Okay, so when you're in FreshBooks, on the left side you would see your company, then dashboard. In dashboard, we will I will show you that in the moment we are when we are going to add things, you will find data right here in dashboard. Then in clients, you will be able to see your clients, and I will show you how we can add them. Invoices here, I will show you how we can add invoices from me to me payments again the same thing all invoice payments i would edit right here expenses estimates this is the thing before having your own invoice time tracking i will show you how we can use time tracking then we are going to look how we can create projects and my team 
and the last thing are reports. So I'm going to show you all of these things. Now, the first thing that we are going to look on is how we can add, how we can add clients. So you would click here under dashboard clients and here go to top right and click new client. I'm going to add here Marcus client one company son client email address okay and this is our client now i can add a street address everything and now on the right side you're going to see client settings so you have options to send reminders automatically send payment reminders for this client invoices and you're going to have option to have three days after due date then I can add 15 days after due date. So I would like have it here, click done. Then char charge late fees. If you want to, you can also uh, automatically add late fees to these clients overdue invoices. So let's say that uh, someone would uh, not pay you for like two weeks and then when days after due date. So let's say 30 days, they would have 10% of the invoice value would be higher. Currency and language, Euro English. Again, you can change for the client. Let's say they are international and then invoice attachments. No, but you have options to attach PDF. You can have it too. And now click save. And voila, this is how you create your own client right here. You always be able to see your clients. Now, what you can do next is how you can add vendors is if you would be clicking on expenses and vendors. And here I would be clicking on the top right new vendor. And this is the literally the same thing company. This would be Sun vendor. First name Marcus vendor. And then account number, email address, website, phone number, street. And on the right side, we're going to see the vendor settings right here. And I can change the currency and language. So English, USD, US dollar, and then sales tax type to record the sales tax you pay. And you can have it too. Then click save. So this is how we do it. And this is how we can add um, vendors and also how we can add clients. The next thing we are going to look on is how we can actually, how we can add items and services. So we are going to dashboard above clients, then add items and services, click on it. And as you can see, we're directly right here in items, create a new next to the iPort import items and create new item and to the name. Let's say I'm going to name it Mark, uh, I don't know, camera description this is a camera camera for recording and rate is going to be 100 you can also track your inventory click save and then create a new service and this is really similar youtube tutorials description and i can add video tutorials rate 200 I can also add taxes here, tax name, tax number. You can add also multiple taxes and you can automatically add this service to all new projects that we will be creating. Let's click save. And as you can see, we got items and services. So right now in uh, nine minutes that you're watching this video, we have the items and services. And the next thing we are going to do is we are going to look on how you can, how you can create invoice. So how to do it is under the clients, click on invoices. Here you want to go to top right and click new invoice. And here you would have a logo. So let's say I'm going to logo and I'm going to choose. Yeah, I have like good, nice quote here. Nature does not hurry yet. Everything is accomplished. It's a wonderful quote. And I'm going to have it automatically. I have my own company here. 
build to. I'm going to add a client that we created. You can always search for the clients that you have. You can change date of issue, invoice number, due date, amount. So I'm going to add what kind of item we are selling or providing. YouTube tutorials, quantity five, line total 1000 euro. So let's say I created five tutorials for 200 euro. Subtotal, I can add a discount. I can request a deposit. I can add a payment schedule right here if I want to see. So the person got the option to not pay straight away, but um, in times. Then subtotal, I can add a discount. So it total amount paid. I can enter notes here in terms. On the right side, when you would create when you would be creating invoice, on the right side, you can accept online payments here. So you can connect it with your Stripe account. This is something that I recommend, which is pretty good. Like the person got the option to pay for your invoice straight away. I like it kind of. You can connect it. Then you can also customize your invoice style. You can change the template here. How it looks like. You can choose a top font. So let's say I'm going to choose this one here. I liked it. You can change also the colors. I'm going to choose to all oh, the red is not that great. I like the blue. And you can also change the font. I'm going to choose the modern. So you can also um, customize your invoices. Click done. And then uh, the last option you can have it recurring. So you can also make it recurring. What does it mean is that Mm, recurring invoice would be sent to them every month, every two weeks. It depends how much you would do it, right? And now you see it right here. So recurring, next issue date, 17 August 2021. How often? Monthly, weekly, yearly. The next thing are how many times? And let's say I'm going to have, it's going to be work until the December. So I can have it September, October, November, December, four times. Delivery options. I can send invoices automatically. I can create a draft invoices and send them manually. So I'm going to leave it as a send invoices automatically. And then allow clients to save credit cards to make automatic payments. This is something that I would definitely recommend for you to have. And it's a good thing to have. I really believe in that. So because like if they will be charged five times in the next four this month and another four months until December, then click done. Then when we have it, we have the client right here, the sun client. And as you can see, we're going to see the send reminders, charge late fees and currency language. So this is how we can work and this is how we can create invoice. Then we would click on save. And now two. Subject, company name, send an invoice, company name, send invoice, invoice number for invoice a month that's due on. And I can also preview it. See how it looks like. Click save. You can also like optimize this if you want to. Insert dynamic field, save. And voila, here we have it. So we have the invoice, your recurring template has been saved. And I can see also uh, the invoice for 1000 euro right here. So that's how it works and that's how we can do it. Now, the next thing that I'm going to show you is when you would click on the payments. What you can do here is how you can actually add payments here. So you can click here and add a payment and type an invoice, sun client, payment date, payment type, how they paid you. Let's say I'm going to do that they paid me with cash and I can add notes here and press fine. And voila. So here we got it paid. When I would go back to the invoices, I see this straight away that it's paid already in the payments. I can see also I got the check out link payments here and other income. 
that you would see right here. So other income is, let's say that I would add to my Facebook's account. So it's good with accounting. I can go with selling on street income category in-person sales or selling on market payment method cash tax nothing assigned to client this would be 100 selling my products fine and this would be my other income in-person sales so this is how we do it and this is how we can work with the payments the next thing are expenses so with the expenses uh, what you need to do we already have a vendor created so now we are going to look on how you can add bills so I would click here and click bills new bill add a vendor pretty simply add a line here camera and then I would have office expenses hardware let's say rate 100 and that's how we do it so I would have a save see and this is how we do it what you can do is then is when you would find your bills here you can simply click add a payment on this button right here next to the more actions paid in cash cash click save and right now you see right here that we got it now when you would click on expenses you can simply click new expense Here, you would see an add category, entertainment, merchant, if you have one, Marcus, and then let's say it's going to be 100 euro. And I can, you can also drag your receipt. So let's say that you were eating or something, you can assign to client internal you can make it recurring like if it's expense that you are going to every week with some client for lunch you can add it to your expenses and then just click save and you can also mark expenses as a cost of goods sold to associate it with the cost required to deliver your service to clients you can have it or no click save see and we had right here so this would be our expense and this is how we can work with expenses. Now, the next thing we are going to have here are estimates. So estimates are pretty straightforward too. And in this part, I'm going to show you how we can how we can add estimates. So we would come to the top right, click create new. And you have option to add a proposal or estimate. Now, proposal is for just requesting if they're okay with it or you can click on estimates and i would have a logo again then i would edit client i would add a line here youtube tutorials one quantity and this would be the estimate if they are actually fine with that so i would have it as a send to i got to save see now I would have uh, accept or so, so let's say I'm going to send it by email and I would send, send it to someone in more action. I can accept it. I can convert it to invoice. So let's say I'm going to accept it. You accepted this estimate. Now, when I'm going to click on estimate, I'm going to sit right here and I can simply more actions. I can convert it to invoice. In the moment when I'm going to convert to invoice, we are on a stage and on the point when we were creating the invoices, right? 
So here, when I'm going to click on a convert to invoice, I'm going to able to, I'll just convert it. And that's how we do it. So I'm not going to do it straight away because that's what we learn in invoices, but that's how we can pretty much work with the estimates. And of course, you can simply click here and click on proposal and create also proposal and you can require signature in it. So that's a proposal that's what you're offering, right? So that's how we do it now. And that's how we can work with estimates. The next thing that I'm going to show you is under time tracking and that's a project. Then we will go to time tracking. So project. Here, I'm going to go on top right, create a new project and it will be flood rate project or hourly project. Flood rate would be like, let's say it's going to be creating a YouTube video for 100 or hourly for hours. So let's say I'm going to flood rate first. And you see right here, I can invite team members. I can assign the client project name, YouTube video and date 31st, flat rate 200 euro, total hours five. And if I want to, I can add service YouTube tutorials. This is the service that we have in our project. Then project type, it's a flat rate project or hourly, estimate hours, total hours or hours per service. And you can also set the cost rate. So for this client, I'm going to have 20. Done. And expenses markup. This default markup will be applied automatically to any expenses created for this project. We can go 10%, 5%, that's up to you, up to you. So this is how we can do it. And this is how we can create a project. Now I would click save here next to the cancel. Right here in a project, I would have like, okay, this is my project. And I can go to the time tracking, but right before that, I can add time entries. So I can add a time entry or start a timer for this project. Or I can come here to time tracking. And what I can do is to click new entry, add a project, YouTube video for the Sun client. For this day, add a service, YouTube tutorials. And I can have it billable or no. And let's say it would be five hours. See, non billable five hours. Or I can simply start the timer. When I would click on a start the timer. I can add a client. At the service and voila here we go and right directly i will be working on the project right i will be working on the time tracking project how i can do it so this is how we do it then i would press stop and i would have it right here and you would see all your projects all your entries in time tracking now when i would go to the projects right here i'm gonna see like okay hours locked five hours flood rate 200 I can again click create new and do the same thing with hourly project. So project name, YouTube video, assign a client and date tomorrow, total hours five or like let's say 50 services, YouTube tutorials. That's pretty straightforward. And then I'm going to see the project type here, set the billable rates 20 single hourly rate, team members rates, service rates. And then I have also set cost rates. And then project type here, done. And then what we have to do is just like click save here. And this is really similar comparing so everything else will be so here you're going to see the project hours locked. I can add a time entry. Add a time entry 
five hours. Log time. We see right here. Okay. Then I can add a time entry start timer. <clears throat> and it's automatically timer for this project. What you can do is then add estimates, expenses, and everything above. So this is how we can work with the projects. And now what you can do is how to can invite the team. Here you can simply click invite and you can invite admin, manager, employee, contractor or accountant. So let's say I'm going to invite admin again, really simple first name, last name, email address. And the last thing what you can do are reports. So reports here, you can have the favorite reports. And you're going to see the invoice details here, expense report, item sales, revenue by client, account aging, payments collected. And you can create whatever report you want. So I would click on invoice details here. So that's something you can do. And this is pretty much how you do it, guys. If you can have any questions, ask me down in the comments. I'm really happy to help you. This is how you can use FreshBooks, FreshBooks tutorial, FreshBooks accounting software, FreshBooks beginner's guide, FreshBooks how to use it, how to use FreshBooks, FreshBooks tutorial, FreshBooks beginner's guide, FreshBooks guide, FreshBooks for beginners, FreshBooks accounting software. Thank you and have a great day and goodbye. See ya.